Hey guys, it's me, Kiana. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a really long time since I have sat down in front of my camera, in front of my bookshelves, and actually have recorded a video. Um, got no glasses. Um, a lot has changed since I stopped recording a video. Um, I just, I needed a break. I started working and I had, I'm a full-time student at college and it became a lot but i'm going on break second week of december and you know that's all the time i have for you know my booktubing and my reading and whatever so today we're doing a book haul and i have one two three four five six books here with me so let's go ahead you know it's my october you know this is my birthday book haul so let's go ahead and get started with the video the first book I have, I bought this for myself at Barnes & Noble. I made my sister pick me up. I made my sister and my brother-in-law pick me up so they could take me to Barnes & Noble. So I could buy Vicious by V.E. Schwab. This is the first book in the Villains duology. The second book is, of course, Vengeful. That is already out. I want to buy that. I'm going to buy it soon when I get paid again. But Vicious is about two people, Eli and Victor, and they were best friends when they were in college. And this, I really love this, um, you know, the way the book is because this goes to like a random chapter. Like last fall, University of Merit. That's not a Merit Cemetery. A few days ago, U University of Merit. Last year, Britain um comments. It goes back and forth from the past to the present to you know, and it's about people who have near-death experience. They wake up and they become EOs, extraordinaries, and they have some sort of power. Like, Eli, if he stops himself or gets shot, he heals himself. And with Victor, he can turn down the pain or make the pain more intense, if that, you know, that makes sense. But I've read this before. I do plan on rereading this again in January, you know, because of how much I love it. And I do want to tab it up. But I love this book and I'm really happy I bought this. So the second book I have, my sister Anacelia bought it for me. And that is Cinder by Marissa Myers. This is book one in the Lunar Chronicles series. You know, I do have the rest of them. Cinder is basically a sci-fi retelling of Cinderella. You know, she's half human, half robotic stuff in her. And this takes place, like it's really weird to say where this takes place. I think it's Beijing, Eastern Commonwealth. Yeah. yeah, it's weird, it is amazing. I love this series and you know, what else can I say about it? Um, The third book I bought, I went to Books A Million, you know, cause that's where I like, I work at the mall and right below my store is Books A Million. So whenever I'm on my break or you know, when I don't have to work and I just go to pick up like, my check or whatever, I always stop in Books A Million and you know Books A Million has their little bargain stuff and I saw The Serpent's Sh Shadow by Rick Riordan. This is book three in the King Chronicles. I do own book one. I do not own book three. I'm you know hoping soon to place an order soon somewhere to buy either. I, w I do want it in hardback in the original copy but because I do not like the new ones. So what is the King Chronicles? It is about these two siblings, Carter and Sadie. Carter is the older brother. Sadie is, of course, the younger sister. And they're, they were separated when they were younger, when their mother died. And what, Sadie can only see her father and her brother two times out of the years. I think it's like Christmas and I forgot the other day. And that day on Christmas, her father goes to the British Museum to try to steal the Rosetta Stone. And when he does, he lets loose six I think it's five or six um, Egyptian Egyptian gods and goddesses. Osiris goes into their father. Horus goes into um, Carter. And Isis goes into Sadie. I absolutely love the first book. I tried to read the second book and I made like a 75 pages in it. I just, I couldn't get into it. But you always have that second book in a series that, you know, makes you hate it but I'm really looking forward to I do better with the audiobook so I'm when you know the 30th comes I'm gonna listen to the audiobook for Throne of Fire and then if I can read the physical copy of this because this is only 
401 pages so yeah okay so when I went to Barnes & Noble to pick up Vicious I also picked up my fourth book and that is Wild Car by Marie Lu this is the second and final book in the Warcross duology and hopefully this picks up right where Warcross ended. I just finished my reread of Warcross so I can read Wild Card next month or when I'm done with Hair Fire, I'll pick it up. But Warcross is about a girl named Amika Chen and the day like of Warcross trials, she hacks into it to steal this gem and everyone sees her, which they're not supposed to. So the dude who creates Warcross Haido um pays all of Amika's debts you know pays for her to fly out to Tokyo and enter her as a bounty hunter so he can help so she can help him catch this person called Zero who is trying to you know infiltrate the game board cross like you see him when the teams are getting picked you see him in one of the games and you see him at the final so I absolutely love Warcross and I absolutely expect the best for wild card so when i went to books a million i bought three books you know the first was the serpent the serpent sh shadow the third was the trials of apollo book three the burning maze i do own book one and two um i'm currently listening to on audiobook form the blood of olympus so when i'm done next month i can actually start the trials of apollo and from what I heard about Trials of Apollo, it is basically Zeus has punished Apollo because he believes that it was Apollo's fault that Gaia woke up and basically went to destroy the world. So Apollo, I guess this has happened again, but Apollo gets turned into a 13-year-old boy. What is his name? I don't remember what his name was, but... Ugh. but he gets turned into a human and he goes into camp half blood and we do see the other you know um like percy annabeth piper leo jason hazel and frank nico and reina again and you know these stories they do make appearances and i did spoil myself for who died in this one and i'm i don't know how i feel you know but i am really excited to read this i know it's gonna be five books like the percy jackson and the olympians the heroes of olympia and and I'm really excited. So, yeah. So, the sixth and final book, I rebought this for myself because when I let my one of my sisters borrow it, she left it out so long that it started to turn yellow, which I got really upset about. So, I rebought Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Matt. I mean, Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass. This takes place the same time as Empire of Storms does. And it is basically Cheryl's perspective when he goes on to another land. This book, it, is, it seems pretty thin, but it's actually 664 pages. And I only got this for five dollars. So yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I love how whenever I go to a store, you know, I always get two bargain books, which I'm really excited for. And then I got a, a four priced book. So it was like, 20 books all together so yeah um I don't know much about this book but Kale is my little precious baby I absolutely hate Rowan and I'm really excited to read Queen of Shadows and Prime Storm and then get to this and then finally Kingdom of Ash which I bought in November but you'll all see that in my November book haul so these are all the books that I bought in October comment down below if you know, you have bought any of these books. If you have read any, any of these books, if you want to butter read any of these books, I'll be leaving here two videos. Honestly, feel that you guys should go check out. I post Mondays and Thursdays, and I will see you guys next time with a new video. Bye, guys.